Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's explore quickly in review thermal expansion when it just deals with the linear expansion only, so in one dimension. So simply we have an original object with an original length L sub naught, we heat it up so the temperature changes and we see an increase in the length because with higher temperatures there's more uh, motion of the atoms inside the object which cause them to expand uh, the distance between them a little bit and the whole thing expands in length. So the change in length is equal to the coefficient of linear expansion times the original length of the object times the change in the temperature. The coefficient of linear expansion, we have some examples here for a few substances. Uh, notice that this is a fractional change per centigrade or per Celsius degree change in the temperature. So for every one Celsius degree, this is the fractional change in the length. Of course, if the temperature decreases, the object will become shorter in the same proportion. As an example, let's say we have a steel bridge span that has a length of 4,000 feet, which is about 1,219 meters. Let's say that the temperature on a very hot day can be as much as 50 degrees Celsius as the sun shining on the bridge, and on a very cold day it can be minus 30 degrees Celsius. So the span, the length of that span will change. The question is how much? So we multiply the coefficient of linear expansion for steel times the length of the bridge, doesn't matter what units you use, and the change in the temperature, 80 Celsius degrees. That comes out to be a difference of 3.84 feet, which is 1.17 meters. So you know, you can see that for big structures like that, we do have to take into account that the length will change and we have to account for that in the way the, the bridge is constructed, of course. But this is how we calculate the change in length for an object and it's rather straightforward once you know the coefficient of linear expansion.